Hey everybody, it's Jman105 back with another video and today I want to talk about rocketry and why it became a passion of mine. Now you've probably seen previous videos uh, that I've made about rocketry detailing what kind of projects I'm working on but I want to talk about the history between myself and rocketry and why it means so much to me and why I keep building them and occasionally launch them and sell them every so often. Uh, basically, many years ago, I think this was back in 2004 when I was still living at home, um, I had bought a model rocket kit off eBay, a very small kit that was worth maybe $10 with a few bucks shipping. I built it with the intention of not flying it. I just wanted to build it, paint it, make it look cool, and it was sitting on my windowsill in my room and it looked really cool. A couple years went by, I ended up moving out off on my own finally, and I was staring at that rocket one day thinking, well, it has everything it needs to go up, I just need to buy some fuel, I can stop looking at it and actually watch it go into the sky. And being someone who was fascinated with rocketry, space, the space shuttle, and all that stuff since I was a kid, I decided to launch it. So I bought a small starter kit, which was a, a small launch pad and a launch controller, and some fuel, and I sent it up in the air. I managed to launch it t twice without incident. The third time it went up and never came back, but I was hooked. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And as time went by, I started building more rockets. I got my best friend into rocketry, and we started having launch parties at really big fields uh, here in this town where I live now. And as time progressed, I started building more kits, finances permitting of course, and then I started designing my own scratch built rockets, which you might have seen on previous videos, some of like the uh, 017 there, the orange rocket, the uh, light green rocket, and the one that looks like a sidewinder, the gray and black one over there that I call Tomahawk, that's another custom design. I really, really enjoy rocketry. I even have a project that's stalled right now due to lack of funding, but it's a, it's a scratch-built homemade jobby that's going to end up going up with special avionics. I've got my six-footer in the corner there that's gone up. My recent build from last fall that hasn't gone yet, but it is ready to go. There's something about rocketry and sending things up into the sky and and even with the guys, you know they're only going to go a few thousand feet at the most even with the engines I'm using, maybe 4,000 feet tops, but to be able to launch something yourself that goes into the sky and in the case with some of these homemade rockets, they will deploy certain technology while they're up there. It just feels like you're part of a space program even if it's on the smallest scale possible and it really lifts your spirit sometimes to see these creations that you've spent time working on, building, painting, developing, going up and coming back down. And I love it. I really do. And I encourage other people to get into rocketry and have some fun. Uh, one of the things, though, that really drives me crazy when it comes to rocketry, and I've been vocal about this, are some of the rocketry groups out there that... What's the word I'm looking for? Overregulate and almost act like rocketry police. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree on this, but I don't care. We have a group up here in Canada called the Canadian Association for Rocketry. And it's like a sister organization to the NAR, which is the National Association for Rocketry in the USA. And common sense when you're launching rockets is that you find a wide open space you don't aim them at anything. You make sure that obviously you're far enough away from an airport or anything like that. You take precautions on the range and in my case I always stand about 10-20 feet back from the uh, actual rocket launching because of the cord length on my uh, controller. There is a countdown of five seconds to alert everyone. You know when the range is going to go live and you do not move until after the rocket's blasted off. You shut off your controller, eliminating the threat of getting shocked electrically or anything like that. And then you go recover the rocket as it comes down. 
My problem with the organizations that are making a lot of these rules out there, especially having certified launch officers, I don't agree with that. You're taking the fun out of rocketry by having so many rules and regulations and over policing it. And on top of that, these same organizations charge money, a lot of money, just for you to be an annual member. And there's really not many perks to it. I have looked into it. Yeah, you can join other rocketeers in the organization. That being said, as a private launcher with a small group of friends, and I do know of other people in town that launch rockets, I the odd time meet up with them or I get talking with them. We all follow our own safety guidelines. No one's gotten hurt. We know what we're doing. So that's the problem with a lot of hobbies, especially model rockets and amateur rockets, is you get these organizations pop up by people who ordinarily don't have any power. They still don't, but they think they do. And I think that cheapens the hobby on a whole. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't get into it as much anymore, is because of overregulation. That all being said, I still continue on building model rockets, amateur rockets, homemade scratch builds, everything. I enjoy it. It's a distraction sometimes. If I'm having a bad day, I'll start tinkering with one of these projects and designing a new one. I, I don't build every rocket project that I design. Time and money, mostly money. But just to design and sometimes work on a lengthy project like this one that's going to still take a while. I'm still redoing the designs for the internal technology and setup and you know it's it's fun like I said it's a hobby it's a passion something I enjoy doing it's not for everybody mind you but it's one of the areas that my creativity flourishes and you can tell by some of my creations especially with some of my uh, funky paint jobs that I go a little over overboard sometimes but that's okay aside from that that's pretty much it for today. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you have any questions about rocketry, you can post in the comments below and I will try to answer them for you. Have a great day everybody and uh, blast off yo.